Lesson 11, Natural Logarithms, uh, this is logs to the base e. Now before we start this little lesson, we need to understand what e is. Now e is an irrational number, and it's equal to uh, 2.71828, and it just keeps going on like pi. Uh, but it's a very important number you'll meet later on uh, when we're doing some more uh, applications of the calculus. Now a few little points. Um, we know that the log of a to the base a is equal to 1, which means, of course, the log of base e, e to the base e is also equal to 1. And another little, little uh, fact we often use is that the log of x to the base e is written as ln x, n for the natural, I mean the natural log. And you'll see that in a lot of calculators, the ln stands for the natural log. Not to worry about it because just uh, regard this as something like a t number between 2 and 3 and we just use E all the time until we have to use our calculators. So to solve this one, it, it is a, a fairly straightforward one, but we take uh, natural logs to both sides to solve E the X minus 1 equals 5. So we write that as ln E the X minus 1 equals L5. Okay, so I'll just change that to base C to make it a little bit easier to, to follow before we introduce that. Now this comes down the front and we get x minus 1 outside of log e to the e equals log e5. Now as I said log e to the base e is 1 so we just write x minus 1 equals log e5 so x equals 1 plus if you like, and 5. That's the exact value. If you check that out in your calculator, you'll get the result of 2.609 as an approximate value. OK, we're going to solve this little exponential equation. e to the 2x plus 1 minus 2 e to the x plus 1 equals 0. Now I'll just re rearrange that a little bit, and we'll write that as e the 2x times e the 1 or just e minus 2e the x times e equals 0 and rearranging this one that's e to the x squared times e minus 2e the x times e equals 0 now we can, we can divide throughout by e, and we'll get e to the x squared minus 2e the x equals 0. Let u equal e the x if you like, and you'll have u squared minus 2u equals 0. Take u as a common factor, u outside of u minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, u equals 0, or u equals 2. That is, e the x equals 0, or e the x equals 2. Now, I'll just draw a little diagram here of this exponential function, just a rough one. Now, we know that all exponential graphs take this form. Remember, e is between 2 and 3, so it'll look the same as e uh, 2 to the x or 3 to the x, going through here at 0 at 1. If you notice, the range is that y will be greater than 0, but not equal to 0. So this can't be equal to 0, so we can't get a solution there. But here we take logs to both sides, natural logs to both sides. So log e, e to the x equals log e 2, x log e e to the e equals log e to the 2. So x equals just natural log of 2. That's the exact value and the approximation that is 0 0.693 approximately.